Tampa. Yay. I'm right here on the waterfront and the sun is just coming up this morning. We're gonna get started on a busy day. So hello, good morning from Tampa. Those of you who are following Vlogmas, or let me start first by saying welcome to our Vlogmas today. I'm Amanda. This is the Vlogmas for Chronicles of Yardia, um, which is Montclair's local yarn store. But of course, during our Vlogmas, we're just bringing you along as we go through all of our fun and not so fun activities in December. Um, and today I'm coming to you from Tampa, Florida. I have a business conference here insurance so not super yarny and not super fun but that's okay um, and I am starting my day with something yarny if you noticed yesterday Jen's vlogmas did not get out on time for day 11 and that's because I was really struggling with the internet downloads here in the hotel it kept blocking the downloads when I was trying to download Jen's videos I tried twice and each time it was taking like an hour and then failing at the end so that was two hours of my night last night which I already got into my hotel room late and by the end and compounded with I went to bed at 3 30 in the morning the night before I had to crash <laughs> and so this morning I'm um, downloading videos again it seems to be working if I download them one at a time fingers crossed so I'm going to continue with that first um, but still they take about 11 minutes each video. Um, some of them are less, but anyway, while s some of these longer ones are downloading, I'm going to go get a Starbucks cause I sort of need some. <laughs> um, so you can come with me, get my Starbucks and then we'll edit some vlog. <laughs> up with not a little bit of extra time before my meetings today and I headed over to the Florida State Fairgrounds here in Tampa to check out the Tampa Holiday Expo and Fair. Um, there's like almost 300 vendors here selling all sorts of stuff so maybe I can find some Christmas presents for my brother-in-law or my dad and see what they've got. Come along with me.
but I can't resist this. Some of the stuff at this booth, you'll see why. Check it out. Actual Pokeballs for the boys. Oh my goodness. Don't tell Charlie, I'll get him a Master Ball. Look at Onyx. Sylveon, Vaporeon, and the Zelda stuff, and Yoshi eggs. Check out the Yoshi egg. Well, I don't know if I can do it with one hand, but it opens up and all the Switch games can store in the Yoshi egg, which will be great for our living room. Thank goodness. More Pokemon and the Super Mario. And look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, and you gotta check out these dragons. Look at these. They're glow in the dark. The boys aren't getting these, but they're super cool. Look at that. So, if you like the. Oh, let me show you one more thing. Look at this Lego wreath. Is that not epic? I love it! These guys have an Etsy shop too. Let me show you their info. There you go. 3D printing. Looking back over my life, spent the most of it on time. And I wish I had more time. Listening to you speak your mind. I made it back, which is good. The Uber drivers were a little confused. Actually, I was taking Lyft. The Lyft drivers were a little confused as to how exactly to get to that holiday market <laughs> at the fairgrounds. So finally, try number three was the charm and I found a driver to bring me back to my hotel. Yay. Um, but I wanted to show you real quick what I got because a, a lot of handmade and small maker stuff um, that I think you guys might enjoy. I showed you before the, um, the 3D printed things for the boys, right? Here's the little Yoshi egg that has the, um, places for your Switch games inside and it, um, uh, closes up like that. And then the Onyx toy, right? Like that's all articulated. That's so cool. One of the boys is going to love Onyx. Um, and then had to get the master ball. Got to catch them all. Um, we will see if um, it would stand a four-year-old. We'll see. Now, one of the things I was looking for was something for my dad. Um, it's sort of a challenge to shop for. My sister and my brother-in-law and their kids are going to be at my parents' house for the holidays. And I thought I saw this and I thought it would be really fun. Um, this is N and G, N and G cornhole. So this um, this is a small maker who makes cornhole um, bean bags, right? And I'm pretty sure my dad has a cornhole set. He like he has the boards. Um, if not, I'll ask my mom. But these are. Auburn and Alabama ones. So I went to Alabama. My dad and my sister went to Auburn. My mom's an Alabama fan. She went to Sanford. 
in Alabama. Um, and they're filled, filled with like real corn. They're really sturdy bags. So I thought this would be really fun. They can play in the backyard while my sister's there. And then I think he'll really enjoy this set. So yay, present for my dad. Although it weighs almost eight pounds. There's four of each um, bean bag. So I might regret that if I carry on on the way back. But oh well, we'll see. That's what the gem's for, right? Um, then I was looking for, I was looking for Lily, but actually who I found a gift for was Gatsby. Gatsby, my puppy. Well, he's a, he's seven years old. He's a dog. Um, but look at, they had the pre-built little, um, what do you call it? Uh, stockings. Look at that. I don't have a stock for Gatsby. We had a, like, my first Christmas dog stocking, but we didn't get him another one. But see, here's nice on one side and naughty on the other side. He's not a naughty dog. We're gonna put nice out there. So it has a little toy for him. And then um, <coughs> that was at the booth of this maker. She makes handmade dog treats. I got him some chicken strips because he loves chicken. And then check out this. This is one of her friends, also a woman-owned small business. Donkey ice cream. Look at this. You like add water, mix it in, put it in the freezer, and it's doggy ice cream, which I think Gatsby is going to love. So I got him some peanut butter ice cream. Yeah, so yay. Shopped for the dog, and that was that, was that treat. Then um, went to Millie's Treasures. That's the card for Millie's Treasures. Um, because I saw one more thing that I thought Gatsby would need. He needs a holiday bandana. That's going to be perfect for him. So handmade holiday bandanas. <coughs> um, and then she was also, she crafts in um, cement, right? So I thought these would be nice for Lily. And then um, an acrylic, right? L for Lily. She just got her driver's license. So everybody needs an L. I thought this one looked really cool with the sparkles on the top and the black on the bottom and a little incense holder. So now I can get her some incense and she'll have the mandala holder. And I think she'll really enjoy that in her room. So that's a present for Lily. Yay! And something that, like I said, she asked, I might have told you, she asked for a music stand, which is a very practical gift, but not very exciting. So I wanted to get her something that she'll enjoy too. And then the last thing that I got was a gift for me. I love red licorice. So we've been over this during the Halloween candy thing, right? Like gummy chocolates. So the licorice guy was there and I got three bags of, it was like almost buy two, get one free. But anyway, I got three bags of licorice. So I got one for me while I'm here in Florida, which I already got into. Um, and then definitely this one is for the ride to Iowa. And I have another bag, which might be from the ride home from Iowa. <laughs> so we'll see. But that was my haul from the holiday market. It was really fun and, and nice to get in the spirit. Hope you enjoyed looking, watching everything that was there. Okay, so as we learned yesterday, it takes some time in this hotel room with my Wi-Fi to get videos downloaded from the cloud so that I can actually edit them and then upload them for you guys on Vlogmas. So to hopefully prevent a extremely late night tonight, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start editing some videos that I've already recorded for today. But first they have to download from the cloud. So while they do that, I'm going to watch um, some vlogs, vlogmas myself, um, from some of my favorite knitting YouTubers and work on my Christmas sweater. Look at this. I've got almost one row of the baubles done and I think it looks awesome. I can't wait. Maybe I can get a couple rows, more rows done and start to see how this fabric is going to be. But I'm super happy with how these look right now. I'm working um, on an eye hook. Uh, the Bobalicious Sweater by K Crochet. <coughs> this starts with a crochet ribbing. Like I mentioned on um, our regular podcast, I'm not doing the crochet ribbing because I really want to do a knitted ribbing. So I just started straight out with the um, body of the sweater. So this is crocheted bottom up. You saw me probably um, testing 
for size this morning is I'm using a hook that's a little bit smaller, like half a millimeter smaller than the pattern calls for. Um, so I want to make sure that this fits. And that's the nice thing about crochet is I can just sort of like, and wearing this dress that has side seams, right? I can see that I'll have enough space here with a little room to um, to seam it up when it's done, because this is done in pieces, front and back, and then seamed. Um, <coughs> yeah, so I'm going to crochet this, and I'm going to watch some of Nitty Natty's Vlogmas and some of Arnie and Carlos's 24 Tips Until Christmas, um, maybe a few more, and uh, work on this while all of those videos for today's Vlogmas download. Well, my day is almost done. Hope you've enjoyed following me around today. We are going to get two Vlogmases out today. I have made progress on my um, Christmas sweater. Um, let me show you that. And right now I'm going to take a walk to dinner in Tampa at a restaurant called Battery here on the waterfront. And on the way, I'll show you some of the Christmas lights that are around here, um, just as a little bit of a close. Let me show you how far I got on my sweater today. Um, I made some progress. Check it out. So that's the beginning of my Christmas sweater. See, Kathleen, I do get it started. <laughs> so, but you'll see more of that over the next um, few times I'm on. And I'll see you real soon. Bye.